President Bach on a state visit to Switzerland and her Swiss counterpart have pledged to work together to realize a so-called creative economy through technological cooperation and by fostering specialized personnel. Our presidential correspondent Oh jin who is traveling with the president, sent us this report. Cooperation in the sectors of industrial technology and education dominated summit talks Monday between President Peck and President of the Swiss Confederation Didier Burkhalter. The two leaders recognized the need to couple Switzerland's top-notch technology and precision machinery, chemical, nano and bio industries with Korea's advanced manufacturing skills, a crucial point of cooperation in realizing the so-called creative economy. 스위스는 세계적인 기초 과학 강국이고 또 한국은 IT와 응용 기술이 발달한 나라라서 양국의 협력이 서로에게 큰 도움이 될 거라고 생각합니다. Out of the 11 MOUs and one agreement that were signed during the president's state visit, three were on technology cooperation. President Peck also sought ways to harness the strengths of Korean and Swiss education to foster specialized personnel that can work well within the creative economy. Switzerland is well known for its educational system, which is based heavily on apprenticeship. Most high school students are trained in vocational schools called Berushule, where they spend three to four days a week in companies to gain experience in industrial settings. An MOU was signed between the two nations to provide opportunities for graduates of Korea's vocational high schools or Meister schools employed in Swiss companies operating in Korea to receive vocational training in Switzerland for a year. There are also a number of MOUs signed to boost trade and investment, including a social security agreement that would relieve Korean and Swiss employees working in each other's countries from double taxation. It wasn't just the economic topics that topped the summit agenda. The Swiss leader promised to throw full support behind Seoul's efforts to maintain stability on the Korean peninsula and persuade North Korea to denuclearize. Oh Jin-ju, Arirang News, Bern.